What's happening there guys and welcome back to Lux Life. In today's video, we'll be telling you everything you need to know about Saudi Arabia's $500 billion future mega city. Let's get started right away. Number 6. How did it all start? It all began in the year 2017 when Mohammed bin Salman, who is the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, announced that the nation will be launching its first fully automated business zone. This is going to be known as NEOM. NEOM is said to be located in Tabuk, which is the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia alongside the Red Sea coast. The price required to execute this project is $500 billion. The major reason behind selecting this region is its climate, which is comparatively milder than most of Saudi Arabia. Mainly, Saudi Arabia is known to have a desert climate, which means it has extremely high temperatures during the day. These temperatures are mainly above 45 degrees Celsius. Apart from this, the estimated area to be covered by NEOM is 26,500 square kilometers. Furthermore, it will be linking Jordan and Egypt via Saudi territory. The project is expected to yield 380,000 jobs and contribute $48 billion to Saudi Arabia's GDP by 2030. Number 5. What is NEOM? NEOM is a new city that has been created in Saudi Arabia, specifically in the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia. NEOM currently is being shown as a closed joint stock company which was started on January 22, 2019. This company completely falls under the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia or PIF. NEOM is strategically placed at the crossroads of the world with an area of 25,500 km square. It's based along the Red Sea and Gulf of Aqaba at the intersection of Asia, Europe and Africa. One of the many good things about NEOM is that it's just an 8 hour flight from almost 70% of the population worldwide. NEOM is aspiring to be the future of a more comfortable and habitable future of living. You might be wondering how the name NEOM was derived in the first place. Well, the name is formed by two words. NEO is an ancient Greek prefix that means new, whereas the fourth letter is from the abbreviation of Mustakbal, an Arabic word that means future. Now it makes sense, doesn't it? As the name suggests, this mega city is going to be the future. The best ideas, followed by more promising startups, established companies and future industries, followed by the best talents, will be helping in creating solutions to help deal with challenges that are being faced by mankind. All of these things will be found under this mega city. Sounds pretty exciting, wouldn't you say? Number 4. Is the line a part of NEOM? Going back to 2021, another announcement was made by the Crown Prince in January. The announcement was made in regards to the NEOM project. So basically it was announced that the NEOM project will be expanding since, as a part of the project, a zero carbon city called The Line would also be set up. Project The Line falls under Project NEOM. According to the Crown Prince, this city is people oriented, which means it puts its residents first. The Prince also labeled the city project as a civilization plan that puts humans first. The line is framed as a linear city with a population of 1 million people. This zero carbon city will be covering a total distance of 170 kilometers followed by a width that could easily be covered in 5 minutes via walking. It's being predicted that this city will be attracting people from all over the world since they'll be drawn to the city's amazing environment, state of the art infrastructure and superior quality of life. Number 3. How is the line different from a conventional city? As previously mentioned, the line is not like any other city and it's not supposed to be, which is the point. You can see that since it's going to be a long city with a walkable distance for width only accommodating 1 million people. The line is a part of the future, and not just any future, but a sustainable one at that. A city's casual conveniences, such as schools, hospitals and gardens, will be provided to the residents. Moreover, the plus point is that everything is going to be the best of the best, which will incline the residents' interest in the available resources in the city. Be it top quality education, health and recreation, the city will have everything covered. Furthermore, the city has plans on positioning itself as the best and the top tourist destination. The Saudi administration has also decided to ban any misgivings about the governance model that the line would follow. 
The entire area covered by Neom, which also includes the line, is going to be a free trade zone. This zone will have its tax structure, followed by its independent legal system. The line is going to be known as a zero carbon city, which also means that the technological and environmental plans of the city will be closely observed since the motto is zero cars, zero streets, and zero carbon emissions. Number two, what does the line look like on paper? The drawings of this carbon-free city show the city's infrastructure and the services it'll be providing divided into three layers. It'll be a pedestrian layer. This layer will be supported by two additional layers, which will be present underground. The first layer, which will be immediately below the ground, be the surface layer of physical infrastructure, whereas the layer below it, which is the second underground layer, will be the core layer for transport. The project advocates commented upon the transport facilities in the line by saying, High-speed transportation, utilities, digital infrastructure, and logistics will be seamlessly integrated in dedicated spaces running in an invisible layer along the line. The high-speed conveyance is specifically being designed to help people reach anywhere in the city within 20 minutes. Not only that, if someone wants to use the transportation, all they have to do is walk towards it, which will take no more than 5 minutes. Another thing which we particularly are very excited to see is the use of artificial intelligence in the city. According to sources, artificial intelligence will be playing a vital role in the city. So this means that the line will be having robots for sure. Robots will have a key role in the areas of security, logistics, home delivery, and provision of care. So if you're planning on living in the line, do prepare yourselves. Try learning how to communicate with robots, and don't be surprised to see a robot knocking on your door and delivering your goods. As if all of this doesn't add to the charm of the city already, it's also said that the line would be powered by 100% clean energy, causing the city to become free of pollution. This will also provide a much healthier and sustainable lifestyle. Number 1. What does the budgeting for both projects look like? According to Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the cost of the creation of the line project at Neom would be ranging from $100 billion and $200 billion. The backbone for investment in the line project will come from the support of the Saudi government, the Public Investment Fund, and local and international investors for the Neom project as a whole, amounting to $500 billion over the period of 10 years, he said. Moreover, the Prince also pointed out that the announcement of the line project during these times has proven to be fruitful since the preparations of this project and the planning in regards to it have been going on behind the scenes for three years now. As Sharq al Aswad reported, the project will be technically integrated with all the systems within the city. An example by the Prince was given which stated that the commuting system will be linked with the rest of the systems to provide a unique user experience for the residents and it will be based on artificial intelligence techniques. The Crown Prince further went on to confirm that the project will be a civilization revolution for mankind and it will completely change the outlook on the field of nature preservation through its features that make it eco-friendly. The line is on its way to becoming the most demanding creational project in the world. However, the work has already begun under the project NEOM. This project is a part of the world-class diversified portfolio of PIF, one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world. This brings us to the end of our video. So what do you guys think? Do let us know your thoughts on this project in the comments down below. And lastly, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you had a blast watching it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. With that in mind, take care and goodbye.